Hey folks, today we're going to be building another Chrome extension. Now I made a video recently on how to build a Chrome extension using Vite and TypeScript. And this is a full tutorial that talks about how Chrome extensions work and how you can create one yourself. But I know a lot of you that watch my channel are C Sharp developers. So I thought today I'd answer the question of can you build a Chrome extension in C Sharp? And the answer is yes, yes you can and here's how. Chrome extensions are essentially front-end web applications that run alongside the web pages you visit. And luckily, .NET does have technology that you can use to build front-end web applications in C Sharp. You might have come across it, it's called Blazor. So to build our Chrome extension, we're going to create a Blazor web application, and we're going to be using this Blazor.browser extension template package on NuGet. So if I scroll down on here, and it tells you how to create a new project using this template. So I'll just paste that into the command line. And that's installed the template package. And then we can go and create a new project. So we'll do .NET new browser extension and we're gonna call this um, Blazor Chrome extension. You can see that this has given us a Blazor Chrome extension CS project file. So if we double click that and open it up in Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2022, you can see that's given us a Blazor application with our app.razor here and our imports.razor. So we can open these up and then we can look in program.cs and we can see that it's just creating our new Blazor application like this. Inside WW root, we'll see that we've got this manifest.json. Now the manifest.json is what makes this into a Chrome extension. This is the file that Google Chrome will read when it wants to find all the information about your extension. And there's a couple of fields in here that are mandatory. So manifest version, that's telling Google Chrome what version of this file here that we're gonna use, and three is the latest from now. And then we've got the, na uh, the name of the project. So, you know, we can actually change this. We'll just call it my Blazor Chrome extension and then the description, and then the version of our package. So the manifest version is the version of this file, and the version of our package, we'll just make that 0.0.1. Um, and then you can see that we've got this backgroundworker.js, that's gonna be the background script, and that's this file over here on the right-hand side. So this is the file that's going to um, create the index page, and then add that into the tabs. And then down here, we've got popup.html. So popup.html is the file that uh, Blazor's gonna create once we build our application. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. If I go into the build menu and do build solution, then you can see the output is here. So the output's gonna be in my temporary directory, browser Chrome extension, bin debug.net, browser Chrome extension. So if I go into that folder in Explorer, go bin debug.net7, browser extension. And this in here is our browser extension. So we've got the manifest has been copied over, popup.html has been created for us. And we should just be able to take this folder and put this into Google Chrome. Now, if you haven't watched my other video about how to load up Google uh, Chrome extensions manually, that's okay. We'll just do it quickly here. What we do is we go into Google Chrome and click the jigsaw piece and go to manage extensions. And then if this developer mode switch is on like this, then you'll get the load unpacked button over here on the left hand side. Load unpacked is expecting a folder. So we can go into the folder we put our browser extension into. This folder here is the one that we want to be loading up in Chrome. So if I just select that folder, that'll open up our Chrome extension in a new tab like that, hello from Blazor. And we should see it on the extensions tab here, my Blazor extension. So now if we go to a website that isn't this Chrome extensions website, so I'm just gonna go to example.com and open up the extensions tab here, the jigsaw piece, you should see that my Blazor extension is now one of the Chrome extensions in the tab. So if I click on that, you can see that my pop-up page is here. So this pop-up page is defined inside our Blazor application. So let's go through and find that in the code, in pages and then pop-up.razor. This is the razor page template for that pop-up. So we can put anything we like in here. We can say, uh, hello from Blazor. And then we can put some text and just say, this is the pop-up for my Chrome extension. So then if we go and rebuild that, build solution, then you can go back into Google Chrome. And in this extensions tab, if we find our extension in this list here, so that's this Blazor one, and we just click this reload button here, that's just gonna reload the latest version of our Chrome extension. So we'll click that. And then we'll go into example domain.com and open 
the Chrome extension again and you can see that it's updated the pop-up that now says this is the pop-up. So this is the new HTML that we've added into our Razor page. So that's the pop-up. You also see in here we've got this options.razor. So Chrome extensions have another pop-up that they can use to show you um, some user options and configuration. And the way you get to that is if you open up your Chrome extension here and click the three dots and go to options, that is going to open up our options page. So that's the My Options page there. And that's going to let you set configuration settings that are specific to the user's instance of the Chrome extension that they've got installed. So I'll place a link to this Blaze Extensions uh, GitHub package in the description of the video. So that's your Chrome extension in Blazor. If you are a C-sharp developer and you want to explore more ways that you can use your C-sharp coding skills to build cool stuff, then check out the other videos on this channel, Train to Code. And if you aren't a C-sharp developer, but you are curious about it, then watch this video next where I'll give you a lightning fast rundown of every single feature in C-sharp. I'll see you there.